I really just need to get rid of some stuff in here in my off time, but I keep forgetting to do it. There we go. Alright, well, now let's actually try and get to the inn. And get whatever we need from there. And then we'll probably go and fight that venomized demon. Is what I'm thinking of doing. We'll see. We've got some options. Apparently there's a lot of post-game stuff to do. So. How long have I been recording? Only about 23 minutes, huh? I was wondering because the expedition thing hadn't popped back up and I was thinking like, surely I've been recording for more than half an hour. All right, what side quest do we have in here? Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking Pengyon around. I didn't know Pengyons could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Mogilu's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this Pengyon has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia. Is that supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but... Whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? A medical student from Rize Moxia? That's... that's Jude Mathis! Hello there, we have cool rooms to relax. Yes, stay. Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. Yo, I better see Jude in this game. My hopes are up now. How do you how do you get to the lower level around here? Right over there. Go, go, go. Look, Velvet! There's a penguin! Think it might be the talking one? There's only one way to find out. There's supposed to be a there's usually a cameo battle in most Tales games. I hope it's Jude. Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really talked. I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk? Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us penguins too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Please, answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that. Oh, and what's a cutesy little penguin like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Uh... It is Jude! Now we're talking, let's go! Level 74, I'm gonna get wrecked. Who the hell are you? Sorry for the sea killing flash, but I'm just Don't interrupt Jude! No, dang it, Rogue Crow, I wanted to hear what he was gonna say! That's so dumb that the developers didn't think that through, like, oh hey, if a character uses a mystic art right out the gate, it interrupts the characters. What the heck is Jude doing as a penguin though? That's so random. I hope I get to see his Final Fury Mystic Art. I think that's what his, uh, what his Mystic Art is called, his Final Fury. I'm pretty sure. Jude, I'm sorry I have to do this to you. Ah, uh, this could not have been a better choice for the cameo battles. Literally one of my favorite Tales characters of all time. From my favorite Tales game. Oh my goodness, Jude, calm down. Calm down, Jude. You don't gotta be that serious about it. I wish I could get, like, literally just one more salt. This is weird, though. There's normally more than one character for, uh, cameos. And normally you have, uh, 
I didn't mean to consume there, but I got him anyways. It's fine. Normally, there's more than one, and they're from multiple Tails games. Because, like, in Tales of Zillia, they had Tails characters from, like, the first three Tails games. It wasn't just from the first one. Oh, it stopped. I turned back into a Pangeon. No matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? I have to protect my fellow Pangeons from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking Pangeon. Really? But then, why did you guys say you eat Pangeons? Sorry, I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. Y yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pingin I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. Oh, well in that case, I should apologize for jumping to conclusions and picking a fight. I just ran into some Pangeon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick in bed just from the shock of meeting you. Small fries like them, I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Pangeon kind? No, I'm Jude Mathis. I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student? From Rize Maxia? It's in a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but... Somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So, basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a Pangeon? This story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the Pengyons here were kind to me and took me in as their own. I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come. But don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. I get that a lot. Well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a Pengyan. You haven't heard of any other talking Pengyans, have you? Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. You mean she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits, because she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Ooh, Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. You care about her even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She's just a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough. Mila is in this game too! This is sick! Oh, I love it! Champions Ignisite raises the chance of receiving level 4 random skills on hard mode or above. Mini Jude. Jude at your side for those familiar with How's Egg Theorem. I remember that. That was a big part of uh, Zillia. Jude talked about that theorem a lot. A talking pengyon? I didn't dream that up, right? No, that pengyon was very real. 
Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to Pangyons, too. If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything's possible. Just in case, I'll keep everything Jude the Penyon told us in mind. So now we have to find Mila. Ah, oh, dude, this is sick. I'm so glad that this was the chosen cameo. Finally! Swimwear from Ogilu. So glad that this was the chosen, uh... The one that was chosen for, um... The cameo of this game. Ah, oh, that's great. Do I have a new area that has a, uh, exclamation mark near it that would, uh, be Mila, perhaps? We do have to go to the Palamedes Temple to kill that, uh, venomized thing. I wonder if Mila is here as well as a Pinyon, or if she's somewhere else. We do still have a couple of different places to go for, uh... For exclamation marks. Hopefully we run into Mila sometime soon. Let's go to... The Palamedes Temple. And we're going to go defeat that Venomized... Venomized Demon. And maybe we'll spot Mila along the way, who knows. One can dream. I knew as soon as I heard the Pinyon's voice that it was Jude, and I was like, ah oh, yes, they actually brought in Jude. I didn't think they'd bring Mila too, though. I'm trying to think of other cameo battles. Like in the Zestiria cameo, you got Jade and Sophie, who were from two different games. It's Jade is from Abyss, and Sophie was from uh, Graces. And then I didn't know the Tales characters that cameoed in Tales of Zillia, but I did know that they were from different games. They weren't all from the same game. But I guess in Berseria, they decided to just grab both of Zillia's protagonists. Since Jude and Mila shared the protagonist title in that game, I suppose is the reason why. That's awesome, though. I love that. Cannot wait to run into Mila. Apparently, there's a cat chest over here that I haven't opened, so I'm going to open it. It looks like it's closed, at least. It is indeed. Must not have had the souls for it at the time. Water Norman hat for Mogilu and Norman suit. Never going to put it on. All right. Well... Let's get on over to the Palamedes Temple. I do not have the Geo board here. That is annoying. This is probably a fishing mini game over here that I'm not going to do. Spoiler alert. I will talk to you just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, no thank you. Pretty sure that cat was trying to tell me that he's feeling like he's about to die of starvation, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm clearly too busy. So probably whenever we do run into Mila, we're going to fight Mila. And then maybe when we reunite Jude and Mila, we fight them both at once for some reason. I don't know why Jude would fight us again, though. It doesn't really fit his character. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, actually, if Mila sees us as a threat and then she tells Jude, like, hey, we got to beat these people down, then Jude will probably just do whatever Mila says. I am going to run around over there to grab that... Uh, Grab ye olden geo board. Even though we may never come back to this area ever again and never need it, I want it anyways. I just like to have the geo board available to me at all times. If it wasn't right there, I wouldn't go searching for the geo board, but because it's right there on the map, I'm going to take the time to go grab it. I'm probably high enough level that I can just kill all of these enemies by, uh, by riding the geo board into them. Thank you for that. Let's go. Get out of here, you stupid bird. Thankfully, my hypothesis was correct. I can murder all these fools just by going through them. 
By the way, that was a Zillia 1 Jude, because he said he was still a medical student. In Zillia 2, he's a scientist working on Spyrite technology. So... That must mean that it's uh, Zillia 1 Mila as well. Which means she probably still thinks that she's Maxwell. Depending on what time... It's after she meets Jude, but before the end of Zillia 1. Because if it was after the end of Zillia 1, then Jude wouldn't have been with Mila to know that she got sent here because they get separated at the end of the first Zillia. Yeah. So it must have been, it must be before Mila gets killed in Zillia. By, uh, stopping Gilland and Celsius. That makes sense. Are these guys enemies? Why are, why are these guys still in here guarding this area? I'm gonna kill you all. What are you weak to even? You're level 73, holy cow, you're weak to fire though. Get fired, nerds. Burn away! I will cleanse your sins with flame. Get discorded. Still alive, huh? Not for long. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got a dangerous encounter, didn't I? I was about to say, where did all these guys come from? They were not here at the start of this fight. Discord is so awesome. I love that move. It doesn't seem to be, like, one of the stronger moves that Velvet uh, has for her break attacks, but it's cool. You're weak to water. Why'd that change? You must be a different class of, uh, of person, I guess. Oh, that was easy. You're not hurt, are you? That didn't give us much EXP at all. Once again, I am without my trusty Geo board, unfortunately. We already did the puzzles last time we were here, so I assume I don't have to worry about any puzzles this time around. I'm also going to make the assumption that the uh, Venomized Demon is at the very end. I'm glad they brought the Venomized Demon back up, even if it's just like a post-game thing. Oh yeah, there it is. Because I remember saying in my review that like for some reason they don't include uh, Venomization at all in the game, other than that one time. Hey you! Let's go. We can do this. It's only level 38? This probably wasn't even meant to be post-game the then. Demon demon. The more it eats, the more ferocious it gets, right? Did the little slimes just constantly respawn? Do I just need to focus on killing this fool? Die, you creature. Die. Get consumed. This thing is amorphous, which means it's going to give me that stupid, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, no. Thunder Blitz is amorphous. A POTUS is the one that I don't like. Right. This fight is over. Halves damage taken when holding only one soul. That's pretty cool. I don't know how, but we managed to beat it. It devoured other demons purely by instinct. Sounds kind of like me, doesn't it? <sighs> so you've eaten a few cows or demons, whatever. When you're hungry, you eat. The only ones who put any moral weight on it are humans. Personally, I wouldn't sweat it too much. What are you trying to say? It's fine. I don't really care if I'm seen as a bad guy. I don't really know how to put it, but I sensed a kind of strength inside that demon. Like a determination to continue living. It was powerful and frightening, but I don't think it was bad. Figures. Alright, so I guess we're done here then. Works for me. We out, boys. How much time do I have left? About 20-ish minutes. What do we want to do? Try and find Mila, but I really don't know where to look for Mila? Or we can... Do something else. I'm trying to think. There was some other side quest that we had that I wanted to do today, but I can't remember what it was. Probably not that important, then. We'll get it done eventually. Should have just ignore bottled out of there, and I'm gonna need no bottle now. Oh, this still counts as being in the dungeon. Well, I'll just walk out of the area and then use the bottle, I guess. To the Manon Reef. 
Let's go to... Let's go back to Yassault. Alright, I wanted to go to a ball. That's right. Wish I knew where to find Mila at. Because I'd really love to do that right now. But if she also got turned into a Pingyon, there shouldn't be anywhere for her to be other than there. I don't know. That's weird. I'm just gonna keep going here until I get on something, which is Renid, the Waterside Village. Maybe Mila is there. I don't know. Let's go to Renid. 